Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ted Cruz's new ad will make everyone think twice before kneeling for the anthem. What happens when a disrespectful Democratic representative shames the American flag and the national anthem? A video by Ted Cruz answering the calls of patriotic Texans is just the answer you're looking for. It was none other than Robert Beto. Rourke who claimed that taking a knee during the national anthem is one of the most American things that someone can do in form of a peaceful protest. As much as people are allowed to protest, it's certainly not very American-like to disrespect the flag of our nation or the people who fought to keep it standing. Ted Cruz had one simple response. A nicely tuned video ad blasting back and making an unapologetic announcement. This is the type of video that could make everyone think twice about kneeling during the national anthem. It's a disgrace when people take a knee and many people are tired of seeing it. Ted Cruz's video already has over 54,000 views and states why do I stand? I stand for the veterans like Tim Lee who lost both his legs fighting in South Vietnam. Share if you're proud to stand, too. Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas released a campaign ad Monday in response to his opponent's claim that there is nothing more American than protesting the national anthem. A constituent asked Senate hopeful and Democratic rep. Robert O'Rourke of Texas earlier in August if he felt that NFL players kneeling for the national anthem was disrespectful to the country and America's veterans. In a now viral interaction, O'Rourke disagreed and commended the demonstration. My short answer is, no, I don't think it's disrespectful, O'Rourke said. And I can think of nothing more American than to peacefully stand up or take a knee for your rights, anytime, anywhere, anyplace. Cruz fired back on behalf of those veterans who lost the ability to stand themselves while fighting for the country. Whoever believed that we would have issues about whether you're going to stand during the national anthem or not? Marine Corps Sergeant Tim Lee asked during the ad. Lee, a retired combat veteran, stepped on a landmine while fighting in Vietnam and consequently lost both of his legs. I gave two legs for this country, Lee continued. I'm not able to stand. But I sure expect you to stand for me when that national anthem is being played. An article by USA Today states that Beto and Ted are in a statistical tie. That's bizarre considering they're in Texas. You might think people in Texas are all about standing for the national anthem, but I guess there's a big group of Democrats who support Beto, which sounds like a very poor decision in my opinion. Republican incumbent Senator Ted Cruz is in a statistical dead heat with Rep. Beto O'Rourke in Texas, according to an Emerson College e poll published Wednesday. The e-poll, which was conducted from August 22 to 25 with a margin of error of plus or minus 4.4 percent, found Cruz with 38 percent of the vote, O'Rourke with 37 percent and 21 percent of respondents undecided. According to the poll, the biggest challenge for Cruz in his path to a second term in the U.S. Senate is among independent voters. Cruz had a 57 percent unfavorable and only 25 percent favorable rating within the group, the poll found. O'Rourke was the clear choice of younger Texans, with those surveyed between the ages of 18 and 34 favoring the Democratic challenger by nearly 20 percentage points, 45 to 28 percent. Cruz, on the other hand, leads among voters ages 55 to 74 by 14 points, 45 to 37 percent. Cruz's lead among those over 75 years old is even greater, at 39 to 17 percent. Cruz has followed President Donald Trump's playbook and criticized O'Rourke for siding with NFL players who have knelt during the national anthem to protest racial injustice. O'Rourke entered the race against Cruz more than a year ago as a virtually unknown lawmaker outside of his hometown of El Paso. He reported strong fundraising numbers early in the race, but many political observers were skeptical that he could pose a serious threat to the well-established Cruz. Since then, O'Rourke has kept busy. He has campaigned in each of the state's 254 counties, holding town halls and taking meetings with community leaders. His unconventional campaign methods and fundraising abilities have drawn national attention. Hopefully, the people in Texas get to the voting stations and push Ted Cruz to victory. Ted loves America more than many people and he stands for the Constitution. It would be a shame if someone like Beto, who thinks taking a knee during the national anthem is one of the most American things you can do. I disagree with Beto and would vote for Ted Cruz in a split second if I lived in Texas. If you live in Texas, then who are you voting for? What kind of person are you? A kneeler or a stander? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.